Okay, so I got a request to explain how I got my Y sensor into my doorbell and how to get it to work. So hopefully this isn't too much explanation. I might go into too much detail uh, and hopefully it explains what is requested. But I'll explain how this kind of works and that way, um, I don't know, hopefully you can find other creative uses for the Y sensor. Um, but basically inside of a Y sensor, you have a magnetic reed switch. And uh, I mean, the left side right here is just a magnet. And as it gets close, it, you can see a little light blinking. Um, and so I drew this crude little diagram. Um, basically, this is what's inside the little glass tube and little pieces of metal. And normally they touch. Um, if the magnet is too far away, they're touching. My little crude magnetic field. <laughs> Um, if the magnet gets closer, it pulls it apart. And when that connection gets severed, uh, that's when the sensor says that it's open. So understanding how a, a doorbell chime works, you have your chime, your piece of metal at the top, and you essentially just have a little uh, rod that part of it's plastic usually, um, but it basically just has an electromagnet um, around it. And so when obviously it's just sitting there, uh, there is no electric or uh, magnetic field being generated. Um, but when the doorbell is triggered, it generates a magnetic field. So by placing your Y sensor close enough and in the right orientation to that chime, it will trigger your, door, your, your sensor. And so you can set that up in the app to say that it's the doorbell and everything will be fine. Now I'll get up here, <clears throat> hopefully I don't fall on camera, but if I get up here and I pop this off, okay, you can see that I basically just put the Y sensor uh, facing inward. Um, it, it, there's a little bit of a, a tolerance to kind of the orientation. You, it's pretty forgiving. Um, but basically if you just shove it in, and get the, the magnetic reed switch as close as you can to where the electromagnet will be and when the doorbell triggers, then it should set it off. So hopefully um, that explains enough and it's not too long of a video. I usually don't do long videos. I usually don't do a lot of videos at all, but um, if you have any more questions, feel free to message me and I'll try to answer them. Okay, 